What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and I'm here in Las Terrazas, Cuba. So I'm now done here in, uh, in Benialis and this morning we're off to Las Terrazas, um, which is an eco resort, I'm told, or a, a, it was the first eco resort and deforestation project in Cuba. It's supposed to be pretty cool. It's a, it's a natural destination rather than uh, uh, a cultural destination, I believe. Um, on the way there, we're stopping at a, a rum distillery, I'm told, and we're going to uh, maybe a waterfall and a botanical garden and stuff like that. So that's on the way to Las Terrazas. In Las Terrazas, there's swimming pools, there's forests, there's lakes, and I'm told it's quite beautiful. So I'm excited to be on the way. This is the third episode from this intrepid travel trip. It's a bit of an alliteration across Cuba here, and I'm excited to keep exploring. So after a day of driving through the countryside here in western Cuba and visiting uh, a, a rum distillery, uh, botanical garden, and orchid garden, and I went down and saw a waterfall as well, we've now arrived in Las Terrazas. This is uh, a really cool thing. It was a, a deforestation project. So basically it was completely deforested and the people here decided let's reforest this and turn it into a tourism area. It started as um, one of the poorest areas in Cuba and now because of all the tourism influx as day trippers come from Havana there's it's quite developed now and it feels almost a little bit bizarre here in Cuba and I'm sorry there's a little bit of construction noise back there in the background that I'm sure you can hear um, but it's an interesting place not only because it is quite developed looking and it seems like there's a, a, a just a huge um, market in 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 tourism and the natural environment around but it, it doesn't feel like cuba but it's obviously cuba so it's a really interesting place to be um it's also today like the 48 year anniversary of when che Guevara died or was killed in in bolivia and a really interesting thing and you probably can't see it but right behind this other building of the hotel is a mountain and that's the mountain that che Guevara and his crew actually trained for their missions in 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 western africa like uh, in the congo and angola and later on in in bolivia on his final mission so they did their training just right over there in the mountains and that's pretty cool so there's there's some history here as well um i think it's it's early afternoon now today we're just going to go down, I'm going to go down to the lakefront. There's a lake down there. It looks beautiful and sit there and enjoy the, you know, enjoy the sunset right over the lake. Then tomorrow we're apparently going for a little bit of a wander around town to learn about, you know, what they're doing here in terms of um, I'm building tourism. So there's gift shops, obviously, and there's like a local coffee place. There's a little zip line that they have here. Um, there's a bunch of little things. So we're going to go explore a little bit tomorrow. And honestly, I think I'm just going to take a relaxing time here because it is absolutely stunning here. And we're staying at the only hotel in town. This is actually the very first eco resort in Cuba. And there's a swimming pool up top and a little bar. So I think I'm just going to, you know, maybe 
go down to the waterfront and enjoy sunset today and then tomorrow explore town a bit and then hang out by the pool in the afternoon. I might shoot some time lapse here as well. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's explore Las Terrazas. So that is it from Las Terrazas, Cuba. I've had a, a really nice time here. It's been just a chilled out time. It's almost felt like a little bit of a vacation here in, in my really busy Cuba itinerary. So um, Las Terrazas is nice and it's been chilled. I hung out at the lake a little bit. I drank a little bit of rum. I smoked a little bit of cigars. I, uh, I enjoyed town and I got to know a little bit about the, the community and the projects that are going on here for tourism and for local sustainability, which is cool. It's been a really nice experience here in Las Terrazas. Today is the final day of the tour, the final night of the tour. So right now we're catching uh, uh, our transport back to Havana. We've got a full afternoon in Havana to explore a little bit. So let's go do that now. So I'm back now in Havana. We arrived yesterday uh, about midday, just before midday, and we had the whole day to explore, the whole afternoon to explore. I got some work done, and then we went and had a farewell dinner in Plaza Vieja, which was really nice and it was cool. Um, you know, the thing I love about these little group travels is not only do you have, you know, a guide to look after you and, and kind of ease you into a country, but the camaraderie amongst the group is always awesome. By the, by the time the trip's done, it's like a little family. You're, you're 12, 16 people or whatever. In this case, it was about 12 people. And by the end of the trip, you really know each other. You really get to know each other quick. And it's cool, so I'm gonna miss the crew. Um, but yeah, I had an absolutely fantastic time. And if you've never done small group travel like that, I think you should, especially if you're a little bit nervous about traveling. And say you've got a big year planned, you've got three months travel or, or six months travel and you just want to ease yourself into a destination that you're not really 100% comfortable with, it's a fantastic way. Um, for me, a, a seasoned traveler even, it was really good because for the first eight days I could kind of figure out how Cuba worked. I could, uh, you know, quiz my guide about how Cuba works and just figure things out, learn the lay of the land. So now that when I go off on my own, it's much easier. So 
on that point, I'm off on my own now. I'm leaving the Intrepid group, which is done now. Everybody's headed to the airport. And I am off on my own for 10, 11, 12 days, something like that here. Uh, I did Western Europe, just, uh, Western Europe. I did Western Cuba just now, which was kind of like the natural side of Cuba. And now I'm going to the cultural side. So right now, um, today I'm catching the bus to Cienfuegos. Then I'm going to go to Trinidad, Camagüey, and Santa Clara on the way back here. So I'm really stoked for that. I'm really stoked to see Eastern Cuba and to explore a little bit more. I've only been here eight days in Cuba and I've only got 10, 11, 12 left. And I'm already realizing I need way more time here. I need like a three month trip to Cuba to see it all the right way. So um, yeah, but I'm absolutely loving Cuba and I guess I'll see you on the next episode, which will be coming from Cienfuegos. I'll get you there. Peace.